Hello, in this video, we're going to create a willow tree. As before, I'm going to start out here with a drink generator. So we have a base to start on. And in this case, I'm going to make this way smaller, maybe like half the size, like five. And what I want to do with this is I want to uh, branch from this. So I want to create multiple branches and then sort of like expand on that to create my tree. So I'm also going to change here the ramp a bit and I'm going to make it like more like a really solid piece here. Like this. Then I'm going to go to trunk shape and let's enable trunk shape as well. Add it a bit more subtle. And then here, let's also play around with the ramp. And we can also here again move around this. So if we want to move this a bit like this. You can have, for example, this trunk shape. You can also go to the noises. Maybe we can override here the mesh noise. And maybe do some offsetting here. This is my base to start with. And again, we will need a controller. So controller. And this can then control the parameters more. I'm also going to override the noise here. Uh, maybe we can have a little bit noise in there. Uh, let's play around with the second noise here. Maybe something like this. That's good enough. Then let's start out with adding branches on top of this. So we're going to use the branch generator. You can just plug in this over here. So this will create a lot of branches. But in this case, let's say I only want two of them. So I want two branches coming on top of this. So I want to grow them from the top here. So let's go here to the bottom here. And we can basically control this placement a bit better if I change the ramp here. So if I change this all the way, almost here to the end, you can see that I have them now more here. You can also see that they are now nicely blend in each other. But for the moment, I'm going to go to the controller and in meshing, I'm going to set the behavior to none. So they are not getting merged together. So this will just help a bit with the performance when you build the tool. And then afterwards, we can en enable this back again. And let's maybe go back up here to the settings. And maybe we need this branch angle to be lower. Maybe let's try 50. Then we could maybe use some variation. This is still not really what I'm looking for. And I think the ramp here at the moment, I don't need it. So otherwise the ramp will control some of that positioning as well. And now I can actually control this a bit better. So maybe even higher than 50 was better. So I just have like two branches coming on, out of that. We can then have more if we want to, but I think two is good enough in this case. You can also make them longer. So if they need a bit longer, maybe add them a bit longer. You can also have variation there. I think this is fine. Then let's go to radius and maybe I want them to be more open because I'm going to basically repeat the process here. And I want to spawn then branches on the similar top here as well. So it has like, again, making some more branches over here in these areas. Then let's go to tropism. We can then override that if you want that. And let's see if we can maybe do some gravity. And maybe increasing this like somewhere around 0.4. That'd be nice. And let's do that one more time. So let's copy paste that node. Let's plug that in over here. And we can see that we basically then have the same effect that we just did. So now let's go to general settings here. Let's go to the placement. So we can add more if we want to. I'm going to stay with two again. I think that's okay. Uh, maybe let's see if we can then have some variation there in the angle. So it's, as you can see, no variation. They go perfectly up. Maybe we can randomize here the roll. Maybe enabling the ramp will give us an interesting result. 
think that can be interesting. Maybe something like this. You can also maybe tweak the ramp a bit if you want to. Uh, we can also make them longer, maybe a bit longer. And we can also define here a bit of that spacing to maybe add some more uh, height variation. So maybe bring them down a bit, like so. Then for the tropism, I'm going to disable this back again. And maybe I'm going to do a general tropism in my controller. So let's go here to the tropism setting. And in here, let's go to gravity. And maybe we increase this. And maybe set this to 0.3, somewhere like this. Then I'm going to repeat this again. So we now have branches on top of this. But now let's go to general and maybe in here we can use the edge length. So we now want to have some real branches like that. And I'm also going to the radius and scale this back to a more point. So they come, so they're more finer at the end. You can still play around here with the amount. So if we, I don't think we need that many at the moment. So a few like these is fine. Let's go to the settings. Maybe we can use a custom up vector. That can make it also interesting. Let's see what the default was. I think the default maybe was a bit better here. You can also here play around again with the pattern shape. Then I might reset this to the default value and go from there. Maybe we can here, turn this a bit around. I think that's interesting. Then if you want to make them longer, we can make it longer. Maybe one. We can again push them at the bottom or near, near the top. So maybe we can push them a bit near the top. So somewhere here. Then place another branch node. So let's maybe start from a default one here. And now I indeed want some smaller branches here at the top. So maybe at the top, so under placement, maybe eight is too much. Uh, let's go with six, maybe a little bit less. Then let's change the pattern to 180. Then this can be interesting. Let's maybe rotate them around a bit. Then under the settings, let's try the angle. What if we lower them? Maybe I lower them a bit. Maybe around, around between 40 and 50. Maybe get some random variation there in, in as well. Uh, let's see if the ramp can be useful here. It helps a bit. So mm -hmm. I'm going to turn this off for a moment. I can always come back and maybe enable this. Then we can also make this maybe a bit longer. And now let's go to the tropism settings and I want to overwrite them. And I want to have indeed something more like this. So they're like more like less banded and open for like the leaves to fall down for that in a moment. Um, let's go to, to gravity. Let's play around with that slider. So I think this is too much. So maybe a little bit of that. So maybe make it a little bit subtle. As you can see, it's like a bit subtle there. Maybe some of that can be useful. I can always go back here. Maybe we can do less of them. Maybe five. I don't think I need that many at the moment because I'm, we'll do another branch level here again. So let's do another branch generator here. But this will create even more of them. So in there, in the scatter. I think we don't need that many. Let's go with five or maybe four. Let's start with five. Then we can still play around here with that custom angle. And also here, maybe lower this a bit and get some angle variation. Let's see if the ramp is useful here. I like it without the ramp a bit more. 
then I'm, I think that they are too long in size. So I'm going to set the length to maybe something like 0.5. I think that's a bit better. They don't have to be that long for now. Or maybe a little bit longer. 0.6, maybe 0.55. That's better. You can also here define again where they grow. So maybe they grow from really like the beginning more. Let's go ba back again at the top to tropism. I'm going to overwrite this and I'm going to again play around with the gravity setting. So what if we go higher, they go a bit more down, then they go more up. So maybe I want to push them a bit more down, like just a bit, not that much. Then let's do one more branch level branches these will then be my final branches where the leaves come from as you can see this is already quite a lot so in here the scatter we don't need that many so maybe five or four just a few of them then let's see let's try out maybe an up factor here a custom factor maybe that could work and Let's also maybe play around here with the rotation of that. Branch angle, Let's see if we can lower this. So maybe 35. Maybe some variation in there as well. And let's disable the ramp. I like a bit more of that. Then we also need to make them way smaller. So 0.5 maybe. Then let's place these leaves on there. So we're going to use the leaf generator. Let's put that in over here. And this should be the result you get. So just a lot of plain cards in there. So in here, so with the leaves, we're going to change, of course, some settings. So you can always make a leaf, but in this case, we can also just generate a leaf here as well. So, and so here again, we can increase this or lower this. So maybe let's lower this to like visually see at the moment a bit better what we will do. Then I'm going to leave this as this here, maybe make them a bit bigger. And we can also do some variation in there. So they each have some different scaling variation. Then here also interesting is already the size. So you have put this to 0.1. You will now make these thin cards. So for a real I want these like long leaves. So I'm gonna make these long cards here. So we can say from maybe 0.2, so they're like a little bit bigger to maybe four. They are like this now. And interesting here again is we can go to the tropism and we can enable here a gravity option. So you can see by just enabling this, we have gravity on these leaves. Now at the moment, the leaves have a quite low uh, topology. They don't have that many polygons. So we're going to go to resolution also. And let's set this to maybe eight. So they have a bit more resolution to work with. So you can see that the bending already is way nicer than before. And we're going to set the strength here to a quite high value. So minus one is okay, but I think we need a bit more. So let's try minus four or maybe five. I think that's better to work with now. We can really see that we have like these leaves falling down there. What is also great for uh, visualization is to go here to the visualization, of course, and enable a color. So we have that nice color for our leaves. You can still tweak that, of course, if you want to. And we can always go back here to the placement, and now we can make some more final tweaks. So maybe we need a bit more of them. So let's go here and disturb and put some more of them. Then I think the size is okay. We can still like lower them if you think they are too large. But I think uh, we can put them quite long here. 
but I don't I don't think that we need any rotations there. We can still, as you can see, try to play around with the rotations, but that might not be helping much with my gravity. But we can still try and see if any of these rotations will help, but I don't think uh, that will help that much. We can also go here to noises and add certain noise effect, and you can see by enabling this already, you will have some more distortion there. So we can maybe do like a subtle uh, distortion here but to break it up a bit so just a little bit maybe and then this can then be my result and this is how we can create something that look like a willow tree so again as before we can always go back at the top to our randomizer and we can just play around with that So again, we are working with a quite flexible system. So at the beginning, I placed around here two of these. So I can easily go here and place three of them. And now, and now we can have more like this. And if we look here, we can then have more of them. So if I would only press one, I would now have only have like one branching from this. If I press two, I have again two of them. I can also easily make this uh, bigger, so we can just go to the trunk. And if I need this to be higher up, I can just bring in that trunk. And now we have this result. So here again, a great way of making these procedural trees. And once you get the hang of these nodes, we can go back and forth between settings and change them to what you like. So I hope you enjoyed these videos and thank you for watching.